Check that body. Hi guys, welcome back to EDSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. What we're going to do is have a look at how we could create some little complex fills at the end of this little drum loop. I saw this tutorial which was done by somebody else in another DAW, so I thought what I would do is create a Cubase one. So we've got a little drum loop here, and at the end, this little blank section is where we're going to create a little drum fill, so let's just play that back. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to use a Groove Agent for this. So I'm going to create a VST instrument, drum, Groove Agent SE. And as you can see, there's no pads, um, there's no samples in Groove Agent SE, it's all just blank. So what I've done is I've just quickly grabbed 16 samples, percussion samples. You can use anything you like, it could be little vocal samples, it can be anything. But in this case, I've just used 16 percussion samples. I'm just going to drag them across into Cubase. So you can see there, we've got 16 percussion one shots, and I'm then just going to drag them onto the pads. And as you can see, if I select the little bottom where there's three squares, it will put a sample on each individual pad. So there you go. Now, like I said, these are just random samples. I haven't spent any time, you know, picking out these amazing samples. So what we're going to do is use what we've got, and hopefully we'll get something pretty exciting. So let's just close that down. Now we'll select the little blank region and double click to create a MIDI part. Double click again to go into the MIDI editor. I'm actually just going to mute the Groove Agent for a second. The reason being is when I start drawing these in, you don't want to hear the sample every time. So once I've done it on C1, which is the initial note in Groove Agent, time to the first sample, I'm then going to copy this up holding alt there and it will duplicate it and basically all those MIDI notes now correspond to every pad in Groove Agent. If I click C1 and so on. So now that we've got those and you saw there I drew the MIDI note all the way across that is important because what we're going to do now on the MIDI insert is we're actually going to put an arpeggiator. In this case, we're going to use the inbuilt Cubase one, which is Apache 5. There's also Apache SX, but let's choose Apache 5 for now. And you can see it's a very basic arpeggiator. What we're going to do is where it says normal, we're actually going to choose random. And we'll leave step size and everything exactly as it is. So what's going to happen now is it is going to choose one of these samples at random every time. So if I press play, let me just extend that out a little bit. Let me also just turn Groove Agent down a little bit. So you can hear there, it's creating some quite intricate little rhythms. What you can also do to make it a little bit more complex if you wanted, with the step size, we can automate so to create more exciting rhythms. So let's just loop that round and listen to how that sounds. So you can hear there, you can create really complex patterns that you just probably wouldn't even consider programming in. So what we'll do is I'm just going to leave that on 16th notes and random for now. And what I'll show you is a quick way of bouncing the output of this as an audio track. So what we're going to do, I'm going to press F4 and open up VST connections. And I'm going to add a new bus, a stereo bus. And what that'll do is it'll automatically configure it to uh, the nearest available outputs. I'm just going to rename this Dummy Bus. And when it says audio device, I'm actually going to put not connected. So that is physically, it's a bus, but it's not physically connected to any audio channels. It's effectively a dummy bus. 
and what we're going to do is I'm going to create an audio track so with our audio track created we've now got the option of input and output as normal currently it says mic in we're actually going to select dummy bus and in Groove Agent SE I'm going to open up the mixer and I'm going to route the output of Groove Agent SE to our dummy bus so what's happening now the audio is coming out of Groove Agent into effectively our dummy bus the dummy bus audio is then coming into this channel so effectively we can record it straight into Cubase so let's just record a few in I'm just gonna click here and I'm going to make sure that it's stacked so every time it records it's just going to create another audio part on top of the existing one let's just hit record Okay, now you won't have heard any audio there, and that's because the audio is assigned to that dummy bus that we created, which isn't physically going anywhere other than back into Cubase. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a blank audio track underneath, and I'm just going to mute it for now. And I'm just going to drag these samples back on. So what we've got now is... Let's move that across now we've got eight different takes of drum fill so let's play that back you get the idea the idea now is, you know, you'd pick your nicest sounding little fill, you could then go in and manipulate it a little bit. We could also automate some of the MIDI information that's gone into Groove Agent. So let me just quickly show you how we would do that. Just move these back out of the way. Let's mute that one. Okay, so with our Groove Agent, let's go back into our mixer and I'm just going to put it back to stereo out so we can hear it okay so what we can do is create more complex patterns by automating the MIDI so I've created a controller lane I'm gonna click where it says volume click more go down to MIDI channel I'm going to go to inserts and there you can see the Apache 5 I'm gonna open that and I'm going to select step size Okay, so now that we have our step size, we can click read automation. I'm going to create a point there, and you can see if I press and hold, you can see it's already set to 16th notes. And what we can do is let's create another point and let's move that one down to 16th triplets. Let's create another point and let's put that one down to 32nd notes and that little section back up there to that. And let's just see how that sounds. So again, it's a random pattern. The only thing that's changing here is the step size, so you're getting additional hits. So let's just open up, and you should be able to see it. So that's basically it. You know, it was just a quick tutorial, a quick tip showing you how we can create some little additional drum fills by using just a load of random samples and using the arpeggiator within Cubase. So do experiment. Don't forget there's the additional arpeggiator, the Arp SX, and spend some time, you know, get some nice quality samples. Use your existing samples from, from maybe your, your production. So, you know, then at least it's going to tie in. Obviously, we just created 16 random drum samples from a sample pack, put them into Groove Agent. You'd obviously spend a little bit more time, but the idea is just to give you inspiration for creating some quick fills. So I hope you found this useful, and if so, then please, as always, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, take care. Check that body. Get, get, get down.